thoughts on the 10A, 12A, and what the Amy cutoffs might be. So these tests were, I think, especially the 10, a lot of people found the first several problems to be a lot harder, like problem nine. That was, it's a tricky problem figuring out how there are exactly three, three routes. 11 was a little bit hard for its position. 15 was definitely like, it was hard for a number 15 for sure. And even like some of these later questions like 19 and 20, they take a long time that you have to do a lot of calculations. And then some of these end questions like 21, you can kind of guess it. 22 is kind of like a, you know, you either know it or you don't. 23 was a little bit tricky, 24, same thing. 25, maybe a little, little bit on the easier end, but still. For the Amy cutoff specifically, I mean, we don't really care about anything beyond like 18, 19 really. So like up till 19 and the difficulty up till 19 was definitely on the harder harder end. Like we have number 15, which was hard. 11, slightly harder. 10, maybe a little bit harder. Nine, definitely. Nine was a little bit of a long, it's like a, you have to actually figure out and be sure of your answer. Same thing for five. Like it takes a long time to actually just do this for number five. So yeah, for this, I would say the cutoff is probably going to be around 90. And this is just a guess. I have no idea what the cutoff will actually be. But given the fact that last year it was 94.5, I would guess that this year is going to be just slightly higher than that, just slightly lower than that. Okay, so now let's take a look at the, 10B is not gonna be here, but the 12, the 12A. The 12A was a very interesting test because a lot of the problems were of course overlapped. Number 10, this one was really, really long and you see how ugly the choices are. Like this was not a nice computation to do whatsoever. Uh, what else here? Like this one took some time. Maybe this one could take some time. The first few were pretty straightforward, I think. Mm. Like so, some of these ones, like ellipse is tricky. You need to know, like not everyone maybe would know ellipses as well because it's not necessarily a standard topic. You know, some of these questions are a little bit tricky. This one I think was a little bit tricky. The symmetry logic, long. this was very long. Like, you have to figure it out. This one had a nice trick. And then like number 20 was really easy. 21 I think was a bit tricky for sure. 22, 23, 20, 24 was really easy. But 22, 23 were also on the easier end for their positions. And then 25 was of course, it was so hard that <laughs> the answer is F8. This is an interesting thing here. So yeah, overall the difficulty was on the higher end and because of number 25, the answer, none of the answer choices were correct. So most likely what will happen is everyone will get six points on this question, even the people who, didn't even attempt it or even look at this question. So that's definitely gonna cause the cutoff to be higher because for specifically for the people like on the borderline of Amy, no, most of them are not gonna be attempting number 25 at all. So that 1.5 points becomes a six points. So that's a plus 4.5. So yeah, when you're keeping your mind or your score for the 12, you should also account for that plus 4.5. So as you can see here, I would have guessed the cutoff is around 78, a little bit more than last year's. But because of this extra 4.5 points on 25 that I think most people will get, my prediction is 82.5 for the 10. Okay, and now on to tips for the B. Like, as you can see here, really you have to keep in mind that you want to really just skip the bashy questions. Like, you want to skip number 20. You want to skip some of these questions that are longer. If you this one, you just skip it if you don't know it. Maybe number 15, you can skip it. You, or maybe number nine, you just, you're not sure you just go with, or no, number nine, you just go with it, you're not sure. So just always remembering that technique, especially seeing the A, the difficulty, the ordering is arbitrary. Skip the problems, pick the ones that are easier. Like on the 12, you should definitely have, just select, even though it's a number 24, you could have probably done this question, just skip ahead. So make sure you're fluid with how you do the problems. Good luck on the B, hope you do better. Thanks for watching.